everybody. Uh, we're getting ready for mailbag, and it starts in about, I don't know, 13 minutes at 10 o'clock. When the screen says 10, that's when we start. Um, it's sort of medium sized today. We'll see how quickly we can get through it. Um, and I guess that's it. As usual, uh, you can watch the kittens for the next 10 minutes, or if you're watching on the archive, you can just uh, fast forward or you know, whatever makes you happy. Some real issues with the remote controls for the, uh, the streaming system. I'm acting real weird since I switched over to the backup. Oh, another thing to fix. No big deal. You kids have just about destroyed that butterfly. Let's let you win the game for just a minute, okay? Throw this one out on this pair when we're done. Want to try this? You never tried this. You want to try this until mailbag starts? safety measures they put in or something it's just it's just it's constantly getting stopped by the cat and doesn't do anything i mean the, the newest models of it i guess it's just, that seems to me anyway i guess they're a little interested though as long as they're interested for a while that's what matters
kids. That thing's just noisy and annoying. I'm glad you like to play with it, though.
Goodness. Meow, meow. We're in here now. Hey, everybody. All right. Hi. All right, today's mailbag. And we should probably start with the mailbag jingle. Oh, and all the apologies. Uh, I haven't set up the new jingle. We're having some sort of weird issue with the encoder that means that the cameras aren't always doing exactly what I want, uh, which I'm going to solve later. And of course, I'm covered in cat food and cat medicine, uh, but I won't get a chance to shower and change until after mailbag. So this is just what we get today. Uh, all that aside, here's the old jingle. Yes, that, of course, from our friend Sarah Donner. And uh, I think we're ready to get rolling on this. So usually we open with a little bit of news. Um, let's see. The big news, of course, is that our new mom has a name. Her name is Loom, L-O-L-O-O-M, Loom. She is pregnant. Uh, all we know is that the ultrasound guy saw three kittens, but he didn't bother to go searching for all of them. He just happened to put the ultrasound on, saw three, and it's like, she's pregnant, we're done here. So there could be more than three, uh, or there could be three. She also uh, just can't seem to get comfortable anymore. So she seems to move from her spot in her room every, I don't know, five minutes. Uh, it's been tricky trying to keep her on the camera, but we're doing what we can. Uh, if you see a blank space there instead of a cat, that uh, doesn't mean that she's gone from the room or that anything's wrong. It just means that uh, she's probably just moved over to the other side of the cat tree or something. No big deal. Then, uh, oh yeah, um, we've been treating these kids with metronidazole and Panicure, and they are doing great. Everybody is just feeling fine and putting on a ton of weight, and it's everything that we like, so uh, really happy about the results of that. And we even brought their mom down to visit with them this morning, and she did okay too, but we didn't want to push our luck, so we separated her. But uh, DJ and I both had the thought that maybe one of the reasons that she'd been acting out a little bit was maybe she just didn't feel so good. Now that she's putting on weight and clearly feeling better, we thought maybe we'd try it again. So we'll probably repeat that. Um, then, uh, oh, of course, the, the one last thing I think that I want to mention is these kids are way overdue for a tissue pit, and I'm planning on doing one right after Mailbag today. So if you're watching live, uh, definitely stay tuned after Mailbag. After I get everything put away, I will bring up the tissue pit, and we will put it in their room, and they will get to play with that for a while. It'll be fun to see what they think. I think they're going to have a good time. All right. <clears throat> I think that's it for news. Let's go. Oh, uh, let me start with this. Um, our old uh, friend and longtime correspondent, Lucia, sent in a letter today, and DJ was so excited that she opened it before Mailbag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and it had, it had um, you know, some, some stuff that probably shouldn't be on the stream in it, so we just, uh, DJ just uh, kept it. But I want to mention how happy I am to hear from Lucia and how happy I am to know that you're doing well. So thank you for that. Um, now let's jump right in. Uh, let's see, I think we got a couple of other letters here to do. So we can start with those like we always do. Just wanted Lucia to know that we did get her letter and it's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So the first one of these is addressed from the MSPCA angle, Angel. Uh, I don't know, South Huntington Avenue, Boston. Okay. From the MSPCA, and it says it is addressed to the sweet guy wearing headphones at Kitten Academy. That's cute. Uh, I'm guessing that this is a donation made in our name, which is so nice of you guys to do. Aw. So cute. From Mama Boo Boo and Lil Bessie in Maine. That's really cute. And it's the MSPCA Angel, I guess, A-N-G-E-L-L, -L, has received a gift. That's so sweet. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that. We always support uh, donating to your local animal shelter or humane society. We think that's great. And it's really fun, uh, those of you that decide to do it in the name of Kitten Academy. That's just, that's really thoughtful. So thank you for that. 
All right, here we have a card that's got uh, tigers on the back. Ooh. And oh, tigers, whoa, wow, check that out. It's a tiger uh, in outer space with a rainbow wings and a unicorn horn, and he's wearing sunglasses. That is the coolest tiger ever. This is awesome. It says, you're almost too awesome to be real. Uh, it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, you're almost too awesome to be real. Love, Millet. Oh, that's so cute. And it says, Mr. A, sorry, this is a little late. I've been saving up my kitty coin, and it sure was hard to sell it for real money. Anyway, I hope this will help pay for a tank of gas for all my vet checkups. When I'm all healed up, I hope I can ride shotgun with the windows down a little so we can let the wind blow through our hair. LOL, love, Millie, a.k.a. Millie Vanilli, except I can't lip sync. That's so sweet. And also, Millie did include a big donation and also a very cool sticker. Check that out. Wow. So that's, that's all really awesome. Whoever sent this, that is so sweet of you. And I see that there's a return address here. I already covered up that probably spoils it. I'm just going to take a peek here. I won't spoil it for everybody else, though. Oh, thank you so much. That is really cute and sweet. And I know DJ is going to want to see this. Um, thank you very much. And that's a very generous donation from Millet. Wow, Millie, thank you. I know DJ is going to go snuggle with you just to say thanks. Uh, I got to take the donation out and put it in my pocket, though. Um, I'm trying to do it discreetly. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm just going to do that because otherwise uh, all these things get filed and then the donation gets filed away. And that's, we don't want that to happen. Um, anyway, uh, Millet, to, to Millet, uh, thank you very much for that. That is the cutest thing. All right. To uh, JB, Care of Kitten Academy. All right. And it's got some monsters on the back with a little spider and a thing with horns and uh, and it's all taped up to the, right to the end. So I'm gonna need something to help me out here. I can't get my letter opener in there. There we go, maybe. Yes. Uh, that that uh, tiger with the unicorn horns and the, the Pegasus wings is the coolest thing. I do, I really like that. I'm going to want to put that card up on our cardboard, I think, afterwards. So, first off, we have the Beverly Press. I love it. Serving West Hollywood, Hancock Park, Beverly Hills, and Wilshire. Well, this should be extremely interesting to read the advertisements and articles in, too. How about that? I'm, I'm super excited about this. Thank you so much. And we've got, okay to read on stream. Please read card before letter. Okay, well, here's the card. Oops, I don't want to give away any addresses there. And it says, you're cool. I didn't expect there to be an address on the inside, too. I'm trying to cover those up before we get on the stream. All right. And it says on the inside, dance your cares away with a vintage record player. Okay to read card and letter on stream. Thank you. We like to hear that. Aw, it says, um, oh, from the K.A. fan lowdown video, Harvey says, lose yourself to dance. Let's celebrate K.A. five-year anniversary and happy Mom Cat Day. See attached letter for more. Much love, J.B. Yeah, the, the lose yourself to dance thing was, uh, was a sort of a discord. Um, uh, I guess it was a meme that we had going for a little while when we were still in the young days on our discord. Young days, that seems five years ago, such a long time ago. Anyway, Mark made a couple really fun Lose Yourself to Dance things. Uh, I, that was about the time that song came out, and we were all real enamored of it. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Chris Lowe's uh, Ninja Chris's um, fan uh, videos are awesome. My mom always makes a point of saying so. <clears throat> so thank you for that. And this says, okay to read on stream after card, please. During these difficult times, we have much to celebrate. Five years of K.A. and all the cats and kittens you have fostered and the wonderful adopters who are providing homes for them. Happy Mom Cat Day. I've been watching since Tilbury Stable and am truly appreciating each of them and their unique personalities. Truffle, regal, elegant, and get a food thief and cookie monster. Flower, that angry face police cat who is a power washer supreme champion. Oh, it's power washer supreme champion snuggler and so playful with her kids. Port, the conversationalist. I think she is echo locating, letting her kittens, faculty, and humans know exactly where she is and that she's on patrol. Thank you, everyone at KA, for providing such joy through the live stream, close ups, and so much more. 
Lots of smiles, laughter, and joy. May your success and our joy continue and increase at least tenfold in the good days to come. Hug the cats and kittens for me, JB. JB, thank you. That is so sweet. And I love your descriptions of the mom cats. Very accurate. And uh, as I mentioned, just as we were starting, we did have Port down here and she was doing, she was in full echolocation mode, uh, just walking around, making her little noises so her kittens could hear. And they all were really happy to see her and ran up and nursed. And then uh, it very quickly got, it got to be too much for her. You could tell. At first she sat down, she let them nurse for a while and uh, she was being real sweet. And she would stand up and they would all try to stay latched on and follow her around as she's walking. Uh, but then by the time we were ready to put her away, uh, you could tell she was done because she kept trying to find ways to lose them. Uh, she would went into this little, uh, there's a little box over here that she went into and then they followed her in. So she immediately laughed and uh, she's just being real, real funny that way. Anyway, she's a sweetheart. She really is. And I'm hoping that now that she's been medicated and is feeling better and is putting on weight, uh, which I'm so happy to see, uh, maybe that'll be the thing that makes the difference. Or maybe it'll wait for her spay. You know, it's not it's not critical, um, but it would be sweet to see her with her kids again, wouldn't it? Uh, JB, anyway, thank you so much. That is just wonderful. All right, moving along. There we go. I'm really excited to read that paper, by the way. I've started putting the papers that people send for me to read. I thought, you know what? Wouldn't it be fun to try to read these in the kitten room with the kittens so that they can, you know, really annoy me and make it difficult? Um, so I've got a stack of them that are all right next to the kitten room and with the intent to go in there when I get a free minute and read them. And I just haven't had a free minute yet. But, uh, this one looks especially uh, uh, different from most of the ones that we've seen. I mean, it looks exactly the same, which I think is even more interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, to see how things are going in West Hollywood and Beverly Hills and the area and what their ads are like is going to really be something. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for that. Okay, here we have a pack of dreamies, presumably for Ari, because that's his thing. And we have a poem for Port. Oh, and then we have a note that says, okay to read on stream. So we'll read the note first, sealed with a loving paw print. All right, I just put away my letter opener. Uh, let's try this. Here we go. What is going on back there? Okay. Uh, oh, man. All right. This is a cool little block print of Kitty sitting in a garden. Uh, and here you go, you can see that. And it's by Roger Laborde. Very cool. No, wait, the card is Roger Laborde design illustrated by Ann Bentley. Oh, that's deceptive. All right. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and all the furries, just a wee card to say a big hello and to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for lovely port. One copy for the Academy and one for Port to take to her, to her forever home. I'm also enclosing some cheese dreamies that she can also take home. It has been a great joy to watch Port and her oranges as they have undertaken their studies at the Academy, and I'm really going to miss them when they go. Adutions are always bittersweet. Anyway, thank you once again for all you do for cats and kittens, and by extension, for we humans too. For, uh, sorry, with lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Joanne, thank you so much. That is really sweet. And the poem I shall read. <clears throat> it says, a poem for port. Perfect port. And it's, uh, it's perfect port. You are so laid back. You worried not. You're such a cool cat. You're raising your oranges with grace and finesse and equipping them all for future success. You won my heart some time ago and your kittens have done the same, you know. I send you spoogles from across the pond of you and your kittens. I've become so fond. And all that remains for me to say is that perfect port, I wish you the best each and every day. Thank you so much, Joanne. Uh, I'm gonna take one copy of this and put it with the newspaper here for us to enjoy again while Port is still here. And I'm gonna put the dreamies right inside here and send those along to Port. That is really sweet of you. I don't have a place to put Port's stuff yet, so I'm just gonna set it back here and then uh, we'll find the right spot for that. Joanne, thank you very much. 
<laughs> These kids are starting to get a little nutty over here. Save your energy, kids. You got a tissue pit coming. You have no idea. <clears throat> All right. Next up. Oh, I thought that was the noise of somebody getting upset, but it was just the, the weird noise of a plastic bottle cap on the floor. Uh, can be read on air. I like that. It says, for Millet, Mr. A and Dr. DJ from Anne from New York. All right, Anne from New York. Thank you for saying can be read on the air, on the stream. We like to hear that. We do it anyway, unless you say not to. Um, but it's, it's reassuring to just know that that was the intent. So... Nine cute kittens to help you feel better, it says. Aw. And they're all saying, hope you're feeling better. <laughs> so that one says it's rye. That's cute. Some of these are labeled as the recent kittens that have been here. They do kind of look like them. Uh, so we got rye over here saying, hope you are feeling better. Wishing you the furry best. Surrender to the cuteness. Aw, look at me, corn. Thought you could use some warm fuzzies. Puget, very fuzzy. I recommend a cat nap. Flower, sorry you're not feeling perfect. Please pounce back soon for potato. You deserve to feel good, and I'm not kidding. Rio, uh, all to millet. That's cute. Uh, if this doesn't work, we have puppies. See note attached. All right. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, here are some treats to help Millet and you in his rest from his surgery. I know you don't want treats for yourselves, but when I saw these, I could not resist. They are meant for you. Enjoy them and all the best to Millet and you for all the tender, loving care you are giving him. Best, Anne from New York. Well, Anne from New York, thank you so much. Um, so uh, on the topic of Millet, he is doing great. And the vet um, saw him this week. We're going to see him again next week. And the plan for next week, we, we had to move it to Wednesday because I had some conflict on Thursday. I can't even remember. Oh, it's all these kids on Thursday going for their second vaccine. Oh, they're getting so big. Uh, so um, we moved his appointment next week to Wednesday. And we're doing it a little different because the, the doctor thinks that he may not have to have any sedation next week. Uh, may be able to just come in, have a quick exam, tighten things up, and then send him home. I've got my fingers crossed is the case because it is a lot of driving. Uh, it's nice of Millet to have sent us some money for gas. <laughs> uh, it's not the gas that's the issue, though. It's just, ooh, it's a lot of time on the road, too, because they moved us from where the first bet was to their other location, which is even further away. That's neither here nor there. Uh, it's, it's Actually, it's there, I guess. Wow, uh, that's an interesting phrase. Okay, so uh, anyway... Um, when he had his appointment this week, though, we asked, is it okay if we give him, you know, just a little bit more activity? We'll still be careful, but we'd like to have him in the bedroom overnight, and he can climb up and down the bed. He might play with his brother, uh, Loganberry, a little bit here and there. And uh, the vet didn't say yes, but didn't say no. Just kind of said, you know, use your judgment and keep him from being too active. So that's what we've been doing. And he has been in the bedroom the last couple nights, and it's been really sweet. Uh, he's a, a, just a total little cutie pie and gets along great with, uh, did I say uh, Loganberry? Um, I might have not said Loganberry a second ago. Um, my brain doesn't work so good these days. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so Loganberry, yeah. So he's been hanging out with Loganberry the last couple nights, and that's good. But we still put him in his room during the day when we're not watching him so he doesn't run or up and down the bed and get into all kinds of crazy stuff. So he's in his room. Anyway, the point is, Millet is doing very well, and I'm super happy about his progress, and so is the vet. So, uh, let's see, we've got some tissue here. Oh, look at that. we got the starter for the tissue pit right here. And we've got wrapped gifts. Look at that. For Mr. A with a coffee cup. How appropriate. For Dr. DJ wrapped in shiny paper, because you know that's what she likes. And for Millet. And these are very thoughtful already, and I haven't even opened them yet. I just, I love that this one has a little coffee cup and the DJ's is all shiny. Wonderful. Let's start with millets. I know you want these ribbons, but you can't have them. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have to cut this ribbon, I think. 
I can't even. <laughs> and, oh, my goodness, and why? Uh, I do these ceramic knives. Maybe not good for uh, the ribbons, or maybe I need to, oh, wow, it's got shiny paper on the inside. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, look at that. It is uh, adorable. Uh, it is the adorable uh, cat toy. We've seen these before. Winnie and Carrie were big fans of these back in the day. It is a cat toy that attaches to the door frame and has a big, long, elastic string so the cats can pull on it and play with it. That is a real winner. We haven't seen one of those in a while. It used to be a real hit for the faculty, too. We used to always have one around, and they would pull on it so hard it would eventually just get ripped right off. And then they would have won, and they were so proud of themselves, and they would carry it all around the house. Uh, wow, this shiny mylar tissue for the tissue pit, that's going to be fun and shiny. And you can't have the ribbon, though. And you can't have this ribbon. i got to put these right away somewhere. I'm going to put them in this old envelope here. Uh, and that is really cool. That's going to be fun. I think that's going to be fun for Millet, and uh, especially if you put some place where we keep an eye on him and see how he's going to act with it. It might be a great thing to keep him, uh, give him a little bit of extra stimulation in his room. Uh, speaking of, uh, we did give him the, the grass. I've been growing cat grass. You might have seen it before the um, before this morning's um, mailbag started. And uh, it, that has really come along very well, too. And the cats are all loving it. And I will eventually be able to recommend one particular cat grass because I bought two of them. And one of them is growing almost too well. Uh, so I'll be able to tell everybody about that. We're not going to fill up this time of that. Besides, I didn't come prepared by remembering, say, what they are or anything. Um, but it's been a fun experiment. So here we have uh, Conscious Step Socks That Save Cats. Well, that's interesting. Also, uh, the socks are really pretty. They've got a little cat face print on them, and they're embroidered with an embroidered cat paw right above the ankle. That is super cool. That is a real nice print. It says, your purchase today helps save the lives of millions of cats that enter shelters across the U.S. every year. Each sale of this pair donates to the Best Friends Animal Society. How about that? Best Friends Animal Society. Learn more at ConsciousStep.com, uh, which is spelled exactly the way it sounds, ConsciousStep.com. Uh, that Those are very cute socks. I know DJ is going to and let's see what's in here. They are already like, hey, you promised the tissue, but this must be it. This is not, not as cool as everybody talked it up to be, uh, but they're still enjoying it. Oh, you kids, you have no idea. Oh, oh, wow. These are toe of a kind, that's cute, socks. They have coffee on them, and it says, that, uh, it's icy, because they're two different socks that go together. This one says, coffee first, everything else later. Those are super cute. And I am looking forward to wearing those. Thank you so much for the socks. I can see why you couldn't resist. They're both perfect. Uh, and thank you very, very much for that. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to leave the tissue out here for them to cause some trouble with for now. And then afterwards, we'll use that to seed the tissue kit. Uh, these I've got to put away, though. They've got little strings on them. Yes, kittens going after those. All right, put this over here in the letters pile. There we go. And this uh, is going to get saved for Millet. I don't know where to put it yet, though, so I'll just put it here, too. Actually, I'll put it with the socks. There we go. That'll work. Good. All right. Anne from New York, thank you very, very much. Okay, nothing on the outside here to give me a clue what's going on. So let's just get right into it. You know, maybe I just need to replace the blade on this ceramic knife. There's, we've got spare blades for people of scent that are right here. I just have to remember to do that someday. I'm always saying that phrase, I have to remember to do that. And then those are all the things I never do. All right, a note right on top with a beautiful orange cat. It says, Dear Kitten Academy, we have enjoyed your channel for many years. Kitten Academy inspired us to adopt a cat from the animal shelter. We adopted an adult cat, which we named... Chioxon, Chioxon, after a mountain near our home where we live, uh, where, I'm sorry, let me try that again. We adopted an adult cat, which we named Chioxon, after a mountain near our home where we lived in South Korea. I guess 
I was reading that correctly, it means pheasant mountain from an old legend about a pheasant who saved a man's life from a deadly snake. There's a shrine on the mountain commemorating this story. My husband and I are not the only ones who watch K.A. Chiaxon loves to try to play with the kittens. That is the only thing he watches. We are sending these bowls for any class to have. These are like the ones Chiaxon received when he came to his new forever home. Thank you from all of us. From the, uh, you should have included a pronunciation guide for your fa uh, name. It's the Sobosinski family. That's what I'm going with, Sobosinski. Thank you so much. And I love your picture of Chiaxon uh, with his paws crossed, looking right at you, taking over this photo. And then over here at Washington Academy, I can see all the oranges. Must have been one of the close-ups. That is wonderful. Thank you uh, so much for that cute note. Thank you for adopting an adult cat, too. I really think that's the way to go. Um, we've had such wonderful luck adopting adults ourselves. Um, and uh, I think, you know, you, want, you guys, you all know why I'm about the mom cats that come into the Kitten Academy. Uh, they're just, they're wonderful. The kittens are fun, too. And they're all fun. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's see what she said. Oh, these are the good stuff. Look at that. A whole stack of these. These are non-skid bowls. And uh, that's exactly what they are. They are stainless steel bowls with a little rubber ring around them. Uh, kind of like the Clint bowls that Clint has been sending for every class that graduates, except these have a, an embossed um, paw all around the edge. And they're smaller, too. A little smaller, about the size that's right for one can of cat food. Uh, so maybe um, if uh, we put these into the endowments, uh, they will last for a couple of classes. I think there's eight, nine, ten of them. Wow, that is a lot. Um, uh, maybe people can use this one for the food, the other one for the water, or vice versa, or lots of things. Or I might steal a couple. Maybe you did say to use them for whatever, didn't you? Let me check because uh, for any class to have. All right. Well, then we'll use them for the we'll use them for the endowments then, just to be. Uh, fair. Um, I have been feeding all of our, I'm trying to figure out where to put these. This is for port. I'll put these right here for port. There we go for now. To go down to those endowments. As soon as we have a place to put endowments, you're going to bite right through that into my toe. I know you don't need to. Um, the way that, that everything has been going here at the Academy, we're actually completely full in, in a way that I don't think we've ever been quite this full because upstairs we have um, the office that is Custard's home now that he's on a diet. He's got to live there whenever there's food out. And also to keep him separated from Logan because we haven't been able to keep them from fighting. So now we just don't let them see each other. So Custard stays in the office when he's not out in the house. Logan stays in the master bedroom when he's not out in the house for similar reasons. Um, then we have uh, the second annex is Millet's home base. The spare room is Port's home. And the actual annex has loom in it. So there's only one room upstairs that's not 100% occupied, and that's DJ's office. Uh, but DJ's office is a hangout for all of the cats. So if we close that off, there's just no place for them to go upstairs at all. Uh, so that's a unique situation. Uh, it's the first time that we've had that many rooms full here at the Academy all at once, surprisingly. <clears throat> and uh, as a result, in the morning when I put everybody's food together, I've got to put together five separate bowls of food to bring upstairs to each of the five rooms up there. And I've been realizing that we've been using the same plastic bowls for longer than we've had Kitten Academy. Uh, and, and they're starting, I don't know, they're starting to look a little worn, but they just, uh, there's only like six of them. And uh, so I keep... Uh, I have to wash them every day or else we run out. <laughs> and it's just, it's ridiculous. It's, this is a, like the classic case of, uh, you know, the cobbler's kids don't have any shoes. So I'm going to buy a stack of bowls. I'm not, please do not send me a bunch of bowls. I'm just going to buy a bunch of like matching steel bowls that are real practical. Um, but uh, I just, I don't know. I was just mentioning it because I got off on your ramble for no reason. Uh, mostly just to talk about how we're so full and how we've got five rooms full of cats upstairs. It's, uh, it's really a change. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for adopting an older cat. I think that's wonderful. Thank you for these great bowls to go home. And these kids' endowments, 
And for reminding me, I need to get online and order a whole bunch for us to use. Uh, either those or uh, I might just get, you guys have seen the, the plates, the big steel plates that we use for the cats and kittens. Um, I might find some stuff like that that's appropriate for a single serve. I really like the way those work. I'll work it out. It's fun to shop for that stuff, isn't it? All right. Uh, here we go. Address to Kitten Academy mailbag. This tissue is loud. I hope it's not too loud for everybody. Uh, oh, I, well, I can guess who this is for just by what it is. Let's see if there's a note in here. No, there's actually not a gift, but it is from Sherry B. We'll say Sherry, Sherry B. Uh, I am going to allocate this to Port and to her family uh, for endowments or to use right away. DJ was complaining this morning that Port hasn't got enough balls out anymore. And we don't know where they went. Uh, I only threw away like one or two that were really starting to get shredded. So uh, I can't imagine where they're going. I'll have to hunt them down. Uh, but in the meantime, these will be great for her and for endowments. Uh, thank you so much, Sherry B. 30, 30 uh, Mylar balls. And these are the, the like the bigger, firmer kind. Like some of them are real soft. And these, these are big and firm. You know, I probably can get different thicknesses of Mylar. Anyway, I like it. Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to put this right over here with port stuff. Pretty soon, we got to open something that we can use as a box to start putting ports and downlets in. Uh, well, let's cross our fingers. Maybe this one. This is a slightly larger box. Oh, I saw a note just about to fall out, but it fell back in. So let's open this up and see what we got here. There it is. Oh, well, look at that. We were just talking about you. This is from Clint. Clint in New Hampshire. Uh, Clint sent his usual thing that he's been sending for every class. And look at that. We can do a comparison. Uh, just so you can see what I was talking about. This is perfect. Clint, thank you so much. And this is for pork and the oranges. And then now there's an orange in the box. Boy, these kids are just so, they're such active participants in everything. Uh, not every class has been that way, but these kids, ooh, very much that way. So, you sent a stack of the uh, steel bowls, and I will open this just so we can look at one. There we go. This is actually two. They come, I guess, in packs of two. So as you can see, it is uh, much like the other, a steel bowl that will last forever with a rubber ring around the bottom so it doesn't slide around. And here are the other ones. Sent from this so so good oh it's right there so Basinski is what I'm going with family um, so you can see the size difference there they're both great bowls and this uh, you know like I said could be used for water could be used for a very hungry cat uh, they're they're awesome so thank you so much uh, to Clint for keeping up this tradition of sending so many bowls I can't believe how many you sent I'm so glad you're st sticking with it and. Uh, uh, I wanted to mention, Clint, uh, you know, because I'm feel free to ramble today, I guess. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, DJ and I were having a discussion, and she was mentioning what it is that you do for a living, which I don't think is a secret, but I'm not going to say it. But I am going to say uh, I'm, I'm glad that you stuck with us over the last year because it, it surely could not have been easy for you, of all people. Um, so thank you for that. And thank you to the bowls. And... Uh, just, you know, you've been uh, a Kitten Academy um, viewer for such a long time. Just really part of the family. So, there we go. All right, now we can put that stuff together for Port and Oranges. Start building that up. Okay. Uh, Clint, thanks again. These kids are going nuts with tissue, and uh, I can't wait to get the tissue put out. Of course, by that time, they're just going to be worn out. Aw, GA girl. This is, you know what, this is exactly what we need. Uh, this is a GA girl, a Georgia girl, maybe I should say, but I'm just stuck on GA girl now. It's a, uh, it's like G, a girl. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I shouldn't open this yet. Anyway, for the beautiful new mom cat from GA girl, uh, this is a perfect thing for her to have. She is going to love it. She does, she's a very playful mom cat. Uh, that's Loom. You probably sent this before she had a name. Uh, Loom is so playful. She loves playing with that ball tower that DJ put in there for her. 
and uh, she plays with all the other toys. You've seen her wrestle with that lobster. As the days go on, I think she's getting a little less playful, probably because it's getting to be more and more difficult for her. But <clears throat> she still does enjoy the play, and I think she will greatly enjoy having a big old catnip uh, banana. I was actually looking for something like this to give her, and the only thing that I found was a little tiny catnip fish, which she did enjoy. So this will be even better for her. Uh, I'm going to write room on it and set it somewhere where we can get it right up to her, I guess, with the socks and stuff. I think she'll like that. Bloom. All right, there we go. Oh, hey, does that banana qualify as the first fruit of the loom? Uh, the first chance for me to make a fruit of the loom joke, I guess. Thank you for that, too. Thanks, Gia girl. All right. Oh, so before I get into this, oh, that's weird. Uh, okay, uh, before I get into this, I was looking at this, you know, this came from overseas. It's got a customs declaration on it. And the customs declaration, first off, says it is from Miss Kitts Tachyon, uh, MS Kitts Tachyon. Thank you so much. And uh, as always, it lists what's in it, and it lists it as shrimp toothbrush. Shrimp toothbrush. So I saw that, and I was amused by it while I was standing in the post office, and I sent DJ a, uh, a picture of the thing that says shrimp toothbrush. And DJ wrote me back a note and says, why not? Shrimp, I gotta brush their teeth too. Uh, which really amused me because I wasn't even thinking that way. All right. And this apparently is what a shrimp toothbrush looks like. <laughs> what? That's got to be a bad translation, I guess. That's crazy. Uh, Miss Kids Tachyon sent a fish that has been labeled as a shrimp toothbrush. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know uh, also who this is for. Um, and I, I don't know what to say. I have no words left now. I didn't, this, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Um, Miss Kids Tachyon, thank you. And uh, let us know what, what you intended to have done with this, just so that I do the right thing with this. Uh, I mean, that's obviously a shrimp toothbrush. I don't know why you would call it anything else. Look at this. You can see it's got the bristles here uh, to brush teeth with. And uh, it's exactly what a shrimp uh, would use as a toothbrush. Of course it is, uh, clearly. OK, next, next, please. What's next? Nice. Ooh, Miss Kit's Tachyon. Uh, let me know. All right. This says Kina. Kina, care of Kitten Academy. That's K-E-N-A, Kina. And Kina has sent... Oh, and there might be a note, too. Let's check for a note. Perhaps these preemie size onesies would be a good fit for Millet. If not, use or donate as you see fit. Thanks for taking such good care of each and every student at the Academy from Kina. Tina, thank you. Let me take a look. Oh, this is too cute. Uh, let me just see if it seems like it's the right size. Aw, that's sweet. I would have to, it's, it's labeled, it says Little Wingman. That is so cool. Uh, I'll have to check it out and see if they'll fit. If they do fit, it would be adorable. Although I can see they're going to need a little bit of modification because the, uh, the suits that we use right now, are made so that they can use the bathroom. Uh, he doesn't have to take the suit off. He can just wear it 24 hours a day and we don't have to worry about the litter box or anything. They're really, they're genius suits actually. I've seen so many different suits that are made for cats that are recovering from surgery and we've tried half a dozen different kinds that people have sent us or that when we first started, we bought a whole bunch of them to see which ones work the best. And those ones from Sudical, um, the, the people that make the Sudical ones are very serious about their intellectual property. They even put a hologram on the tag so that you know you got the official Sudical suit. But I can see why. Like, whoever designed those, they're exactly right. They, they're just exactly right. Um, so, uh, so, so they put a lot of work into it. It really shows, and they're great. Um, and uh, this may or may not work. Um, if it does, if it seems like it's going to work great, I would love to see him wearing one of these. They're super adorable. And they're, they're roughly the right size, although I'm looking at it, it's probably just a little bit too big. 
Um, but it's the thought that counts, Tina, and we really appreciate that. So thank you so much. I even know uh, exactly what I can do with this. Here's a funny coincidence. If we don't give it to him, um, we accidentally got a piece of mail from the post office today that wasn't for us. Uh, it somehow got mislabeled. Um, you can see somebody at the post office labeled it as being for us, and then they threw it in our pile, but it wasn't. It was for another uh, post office box customer that runs a business that is, um, gosh, I can't remember what it was called exactly, but it's called Binky, Binky Patrol, Binky something, Binky, CT Binky something or other. And what they do, they're a charity that collects blankets and fabrics and makes blankets for uh, children that are in the hospital. Uh, so they donate the blankets to things like the, uh, well, like the uh, natal, the NICU, what's the N, natal, newborn, uh, neonatal, I don't know, uh, the NICU at DJ's uh, hospitals, actually, among many other places. So it's a weird coincidence that they got our, I'm sorry, that we got their mail today, which we we're going to have to return to the post office. And uh, maybe uh, if I need to, I can just include this with it from Tina. So thank you for that. In fact, I'll leave your note with it. They can, if we do that. Seems like it's not the worst idea. Um, then uh, uh, they can thank you as well. Look at that. It's the gift that literally keeps on giving. I like that idea. I'm just going to put that with it for now. We'll figure it out. Also, what to do with the shrimp toothbrush. Uh, let us know. MS gets tacky on. <coughs> okay. Where are we? We are, oh, actually this goes with these. There we go, that goes over there, this goes over here. This is also, okay, good. Moving along, I think, if I can get a package off of here without, I don't know, disturbing too much. There we go. This one's covered in cute cat stickers. Well, I say covered, it's just one side really, the side that you're not looking at. Oh, this is from Busy Cat. You know, when I took the mail, I thought I smelled draft at the post office. I, like somebody is, I don't know, maybe my nose is getting more sensitive. Or maybe we're using a lot of draft these days. But that's got to be what this is. That had to have been coming from here this time, right? Last week, I was surprised because there was draft and I did smell draft and it wasn't from Busy Cat. Uh, that was a surprise. Okay. This says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I've made something different for Kitten Academy, and I hope they may be useful for your new mom cat. They are waterproof blankets. One side is flannel, one side terry cloth, and the middle is PUL, which is a polyurethane laminate, which is used for babies' diapers. I was wondering if you would find them useful for the birthing box. They are reversible, but after I made them, I realized kittens can get their claws stuck in the terry cloth. So anyway, please use as you see fit. As usual, I have pre-washed them in baby draft with the added scent booster. Ah, eh, eh, makes sense. See, that's why. I laughed so much when Kitty Pup Pup sent you some last week. At the time of mailing, it was not known if your new mom cat was pregnant or pregnant. So hopefully you can use them sometime in the future. With love, a busy cat. Busy cat, thank you so much. And as you know, she is pregnant. And I think this sounds like a fun idea. Um, so they smell great, by the way. Look at that. They are beautiful. And just as you say, wow, look at that. One side is this beautiful blue uh, low nap terry cloth. And the other side is this blue uh, polka dots on white background. They're, it's so lovely. It's such a beautiful thing. Uh, and of course we can put the flannel side up and that's perfect for kittens. Um, I, I think you're right about the terry cloth side though, which is, as you know, kittens are born with their claws full, fully, they've got full claws when they're born. They're very sharp and pokey and they can't retract them. So they're born with their claws, but they aren't born with the ability to retract their claws like adult cats do. They just, they, they're not all fully developed yet in their paws. So their claws are just out all the time, which means if you give them anything to get stuck in, they're going to get stuck in it. Uh, they're like Velcro. They're like little kids are really, they're like Velcro. So 
the terry cloth side, as you say, probably not great for that. Um, but I imagine it's going to be wonderful to have something that's so absorbent and um, waterproof. And I bet we'll find a lot of ways to use that, not just for the mom cats. So that's a great idea and really fun. And you've said, uh, let's just take a look at all the various patterns because you sent a whole box of these. My goodness, this one is really cute too. This one's pink. And it's got pink terry cloth and it's got pink stars on it. Oh, I really like that. And then, uh, oh, and so much trap. I like that trap. This one is a uh, yellow on the terry cloth side and a fruity pebbles pattern. <laughs> we got more tissue. Uh, this one is a cake confetti uh, kind of a pattern. Nice, colorful little polka dots and white on the terry cloth side. I love this variety. Such great uh, um, flannel prints that you've got too. I just, I love all of them. Uh, and there's more. We've got pink polka dots. I think that's the one that ends it out. Yes, pink polka dots with, uh, again, another pink terry cloth. These are so pretty. Oh, I love these. I love them so much. Fizzy Cat, thank you. We will definitely find so many uses for these. Uh, all the blankets that, that you've sent with the flannel on them are so, the ones that you sent the past are so floofy and have, have basically changed the way that we do mom cat boxes. Uh, so thank you for that. I can't wait to try these out. And I, and you know, if nothing else, the fact that they're waterproof means that we can put a few of them in and they won't soak through to the layer below. We've also got puppy pads for that same purpose that we're supposed to use this time. Maybe that's, uh, maybe we'll try one or both or uh, lots of things for us to test out for future mom cats. I like, uh, I like trying out different things to see what works best. So, uh, busy cat, thank you so much for these. They, they are fantastic. And, uh, since they're going to go upstairs and so is all of this, I'm just going to put this together right now into one box. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we're missing a banana though. Who stole the banana? Oh, no, there it is. It's right there. Okay, it was underneath. Whew. That's it. Okay. Good. These kids are winding down, but hopefully they'll catch a second wind in the post mailbag tissue fit. Or maybe we'll have to give them a little break in between. Let's see. All right. Just addressed to Kitten Academy mailbag. This is one of those there. Oh, God, at that time. I was going to say, it's one of those uh, mailers that, that has all that foam in it. And if you open it the wrong way by like cutting it, foam goes everywhere. And I can never get the pull tab to work. But this time it did. All right. So we recognize this. This is a whole bunch of the little worms that Logan likes with bells on them. Oh, so perfect. But what does it say? There's a note, I hope. All right, the note says, good day, humans and cats. Logan whispered to me through the kazoo network that kittens want these in endowments, but please save one orange worm for happy Uncle Barry. Yes, happy Barry. Oh, excuse me. Thanks for sharing these. Uh, thanks for sharing these kids from Share Bear. Well, thank you, Share Bear. That's wonderful. Logan is going to um, love having one and... The kittens already want them, but we will save them uh, for their endowments because I think we've already got some that we can hand out now if they really want that. I think they just want the bells, though. They just want the bells. Uh, where are we putting endowments? Over here, right? Yes, that's where they go. Perfect. All right. Hi. You kids are so attentive all of a sudden because I shook a bell. Oh, my goodness. This is a very interesting name of the company that this is from, and I, it's, I can't say it though. I don't, I don't think it's a word that I can use. That's a very interesting. How am I going to, let's just say uh, if I misread it, uh, maybe if I were dyslexic, I would think it was from a company called Cat Carp HQ. Um, so like this, like this carp right here, Cat Carp HQ. It's a very cute name for a cat uh, company, a cat-related company. And this says, oh, it actually just appears to be from them, and uh, they've underlined it. So I guess I'm, oh, here we go. To deploy as you see fit. I get it. Okay. To deploy as you see fit from at Cat Attack 57. At Cat Attack 57. These are cool. Uh, just a second. I will describe them. But first, let me say 
um, that the people at the cat car company wrote, we hope you enjoy the hair tie toys, which apparently uh, they're not really like hair ties, but they seem so much safer than hair ties. I like it. And they also have a store, which is at, um, let's say it's at catcarp.etsy.com, except it's not. I think you know where it is. Uh, all right. Uh, what we have here appear to be tightly woven little round rings for the cats. And uh, they're woven out of what appears to be a sisal rope. So it is like a safer version of the hair ties because the kittens aren't going to accidentally chew into these or anything else. Uh, from Cat Attack 57, you say to deploy to see fit. I want to throw at least one out right now for these kids, and I want to give one at least to uh, Custard next time I see him to see what he does with it. So let's give one. Kids, what is this? They're all playing with their tissue paper. Nobody's looking at what I'm doing. Cat Attack 57. Thank you so much. Let's uh, let's see what we can do to get these kids at least. Oh, well, there we go. Rio saw it. He saw it and he was like, yeah. Let me try. i got to take a picture of one of these cats real quick. Hang on. There you go. Let me do this without disturbing you. Oh, is that Bombay meeting? Well, it's Chris. I'm fine. What can I do for you? Yes, well, so, yes, we determined she is pregnant, but I think, yeah, uh, I think we would still like to have her in for some x-rays, so we'll see you then. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Uh, that was our vet calling, of course, and I couldn't remember uh, why they would be calling us, but, of course, we have an appointment to get an x-ray for the new mom on Monday, so excuse me for answering that during mailbag. I wouldn't normally, but... Couldn't, couldn't think of why we were having it. Uh, all right. Uh, these are so cute. Like I said, I'm going to put one in my pocket to give to Custard later and see what he thinks of it. And the rest, I guess I'm going to put in with the endowments for now. Here are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means one extra for me to maybe give to Custard. Let's see. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Those are really cool. All right, this says it is from Rinda Lynn. I like that. A lot of folks are doing this where they put their name in the return address. They say to themselves, care of Kitten Academy and then the rest of the address. Really nice if you can't, um, if there's some reason you can't put in a note, like uh, one of the companies that doesn't let you or you buy some of the things you buy on Amazon won't let you. This is adorable. Presumably this is for the proposed uh, unicorns and rainbows theme that uh, we will be doing for some class in the future, maybe for uh, Loom's class or maybe for a future class after that. Uh, I love it. Uh, it was just something that, that uh, was proposed by people sending in unicorns and rainbows, but I can't say no to something like that. And uh, this is a very cute stuffed little unicorn that is itself uh, rainbow colored, multicolored. It's super sweet plushy. Oh, it's so cool. There's, there's also something to it. Oh, it says heartbeat plush toy with two hearts. It contains a small device that simulates the real heartbeat of a human being, which makes a puppy feel the companion of their parent to reduce anxiety and loneliness. Well, that's super cute. Um, 
presumably it either needs a battery or something to activate it. It looks like it's got a stomach that you can open up to replace that. But I can see there's a button here and I'm pressing it. It's not doing anything. So I bet it needs batteries. That's even cooler though. Uh, and I don't know where to put it because now I need a place to put stuff to the theme. So for now, I, yeah, I'll just set it over here. That's, uh, that's really pretty though. I like it. Okay. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, Rinda Lynn. Oh, okay. Uh, now I'm running out of space. Okay, now I'm making a huge mess. <sighs> Let's keep trying here. Let's see, there's a note. The note says... Endowments for these oranges or deployment as you see fit. Thank you for giving us something to smile every day from a fan of KA. All right, mystery fan. You have sent for the oranges a bag of, wow, tiger striped fur balls. Are these, I gotta, I've gotta see what these feel like. Oh, they're in two bags. They're in a bag in a bag. Oh, wow. Okay, so they, that's exactly what they are. They are little uh, tiger striped fur balls. They feel almost like real fur. I can tell they're not, but they feel very nice and soft. I bet the kids are going to love these. And I love the fact that they got these tiger stripes on them. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like it. Well, that's not entirely true. I've seen quite a few things like it, but never something with the tiger stripes. That's awesome. I'm going to put that right here in the endowments. Thank you so much, Mystery KA fan. And uh, let's see what's next here. You kids are going to have such so much to bring home with you when you get adopted. You have no idea. All right. This one has a note as well. For new beautiful Loom from Penny. Penny, thank you. What have you sent for Loom? Oh, oh, cat kickers. Oh, these are awesome. One of them, uh, these are long too. Uh, the Kitty Kick Sticks 15 inch original. All right. And uh, one of them has rainbow unicorn cats on it. That's completely awesome. And the other one has a whole bunch of cats. Uh, half of them are wearing glasses and they're all just sitting and smiling. A whole bunch of sitting, smiling cats, uh, most of which are wearing glasses. Those are both really cool cat pickers that she is going to love. I wonder if I should put those out right meow, or at least put one of them out. Uh, I don't have a place to put stuff for Loom yet anyway, so I'm just going to set it over here for the moment. Oh, the unicorn is a buddy for Millet. That's perfect. Okay, Rendalyn, we will give the unicorn to Millet. That's a great idea. I love it. I bet Millet will love it too. Millet also wants somebody to wrestle with, and we're, we're trying to keep him from wrestling too much, but I bet he can wrestle with that unicorn without uh, getting anybody. Uh, the unicorn is not going to fight back, I think is the point. So that will be perfect for him. You've got so many tissues to play with. Pick one of those. Don't play with this plastic bag. It says right on it, not a toy. We've got we to work on your reading lessons, buddy. So, Brenda Lynn, thanks for the unicorn for Millet. Uh, let me label it right now, but uh, we'll get that up to him right away, and we'll figure out how to get some batteries or whatever it might be. Perfect. There we go. Okay, let's open another big box, because we're running out of places to put stuff, and maybe this will help. Uh, if I can find my knife, here it is. Paper. And I go for it. Right back there. And it's some sort of a cat bed. Ah, here's the note. Okay, good. Ah, you have your mailbag chair, and now the kittens have one too from your minion, minion Lisa. A mailbag chair for the kittens. Oh, okay, I see. It is a perfect pouch, cat lounger, and cat scratcher. Made of extra, it's made of extra think corrugated cardboard. Extra think, extra corrugated cardboard. 
That's what it says. It's made of extra thick, extra corrugated cardboard. All right. And it's reversible for 2x the scratching. This, has, this actually does look pretty cool. Uh, I can't quite see how it's supposed to go together, though, by looking at it. Let's see if we can figure that out. Let's just have a quick look here. Oh, look at that. It is uh, extra think. Extra think is what I'm going to be doing to figure out how to put it together. I see there's two pieces. Oh, I think there's two pieces. Something just tore a little low. Did I do that? It's got to go this way. That's the only way it could possibly work. Oh, so we got to put it the other way. Look at that. It is a chair. You just want to sit in the chair? That's a cute chair. I like it. I like it. They're going to love this. Oh, I can almost sit in that chair, though. It's, it is extra thick, and I, it probably would work for me. But, of course, they don't want to sit in the chair. They just want to play in the box. That's fine, too, kids. That's fine. It's fine. Make your own rules. Yeah. You do what you want. Uh, Minion, Lisa, thank you so much. This is great. That, you know, we can always, there's always room for another cat uh, cardboard thing around. They do wreck them pretty well. And, uh, you know, they don't always last forever, but uh, these are fun. Everybody loves to scratch on them and play with them. I'm sure this one will be a hit, too. Also, um, yeah, on that note, somebody uh, made a mess in the condo. And rather than, you know, I don't know what I would do. I couldn't clean it up because it's in the cardboard. And it really got soaked in there. I tried to clean it up and made a nasty spot. I think what I'm going to do is actually just cut a hole where the mess was made, like through the cardboard using a jigsaw. And then it'll be even more fun, right? It'll have a hole in it, and that'll be even cooler for the cats. So I'm probably going to do that. That's another thing on my list of stuff to do someday when I remember. But unless I'm looking at it, you know, out of sight, out of mind has never been more true. Uh, I am out of sight, and I am out of my mind. Okay. Next. Uh, Lisa, thanks again. And next up. Oh, this is cute. It is a hugging, it's a little hugging, snaggable pleasure. It's a cat kicker that's made to be huggable. That's a cute one, too. It's very cute. And it says, to Mama Lou, welcome to Kitten Academy. You are such a beautiful kitty. I hope you enjoy your tenure at the Academy from Starshine. Starshine. Awesome. Thank you so much. I mean, my recognize. Uh, this is perfect for Loom. I'm going to write Loom on it, and we'll have to decide now. I don't know if she needs like three different cat hip kickers, but this one seems so fun. We're going to have to decide which ones she gets now and which ones she gets later. Uh, but we will. We will decide exactly that, won't we? This is so cute, though. I love the picture of it uh, on the front. There's a picture of a cat hugging it. And it's the cutest little illustration. And it's got a tail. This is a really good one. I think we have to give her this one and maybe one of the other ones and then save the last one for her endowment. Well, I've got the pen. Let me write Loom on these as well. Ask me about Loom. Okay. There we go. Right over there. Stay. Stay for now. Just stay right over there. Okay, good. Right. Well... We're getting towards the end already. What time is it? 11.04. Not bad. This guy, this ant, he's just passed out over here. He's got his head, like, down in the crook of my knee. And uh, just, he's got his leg hanging down. He just doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's just out by the light. Oh, flat mice. Oh, Ooh, lots of flat mice. What is going on with the flat mice? Those are a winner every time. There's no note. There's no note. It just says Kitten Academy. There's no note at all. Oh, wait, there's a note. There is a note. It's at the bottom. Oh, there we go. It's mixed in. There we go. The note says, enjoy your gift from Lori. All right. Well, Lori, thank you. Oh, wait, wait. There's another note. Enjoy your gift. Oh, for uh, Antwerp, Rio, Puget, Bombay, Halifax, Sydney, and Rotterdam. 
and uh, I've accidentally used your real name, and now I don't know what to do. I've, I've talked myself into a corner because now, if I say who it's from, uh, using a name that everybody knows, you can put it together with the name Lori. I don't know if that's intended or not. Maybe you guys already all know. I didn't know. I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, this person can out themselves if they want. That's that's how we're going to leave it. There we go. Anyway, for Antwerp, Rio, Puget, Bombay, Halifax, Sydney, and Rotterdam for their endowments. That's perfect. These are so perfect. Thank you very much, mystery person. You may or may not be a mystery at all. I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So cool. These flat mice are always a hit. And I see we've got some gray ones and some tan ones. Very, very, very cool. Uh, and I will put these right in here with the stuff that so far is for endowments for Port and her kids. Awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oops. Yep. Ah. All right. What do we got? Big box. Oh, okay. She says it's okay. That is uh, from Gia Girl. Uh, Gia Girl sent the flat mice. Thank you so much, Gia Girl. The flat mice uh, are a big hit every time, as you know, and the banana's a big hit every time, as you know. It's sending us some real classic plays. Oh. This is an interesting way to pack a box. Uh, it says, a small note, okay to read on mailbag. Okay. Oh, wow. It's got uh, like a paint on canvas cat. And it says, happy cat day, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Glad to see you taking some time for yourselves and each other. Here are some things for the Academy, plus a couple of toys for port and flower. The toys for the moms are in bags with their names. You can never have too much Mylar balls or tissue paper. The rest of the items you can use as you see fit. From Kathy. Kathy, well, thank you in advance. This is, uh, this is fun. You packed it using some leftover egg foam, uh, the egg carton foam. Uh, I don't know what you call it. That's what I would call it. And, oh, even more. Look at that. Now I have what I need to start my sound studio. Uh, all right. Let's see. Where are we going here? We're just going to transfer the packing material over to this box. Yes. There we go. Like that. This is a, a pack of sticky notes in a sticky note dispenser that has a cat on it. That's very cute. That might end up right in DJ's office. And uh, more packing material. Ooh, my newspaper. Yes. The Lawrence Gazette. Very nice. Uh, which Lawrence are we talking about here? I guess they don't feel like it's important to say. They figure you already know. If you are from Lawrence, uh, you know which state you're in. I see there's also a capital help NJ ad on the back, though. So maybe that gives me my, uh, maybe it's a Lawrence, New Jersey. Is there one? assume there is. Hmm. Very nice. Yes, oh, and also Academy Dental NJ. All right, I think that gives it away. Well, I'm excited to take a look at that, especially, like I say, the local ads and stuff. I love that. Those are going to be really fun. And I'm going to try to read all that with the kittens at some point. This is empty, right? Can I put this in here? Okay, put that right in there. Consolidate a couple things. All right, next. Ooh, we got vacuum packed mylar balls. Um, look at that, they're like, it's like a, like a sheet of mylar balls. Oh, some of those are a little weird though. I wonder what else they sent in there. Um, perfect. Well, anyway, they're mylar balls and then something, see, see how these are like flat things? That's something else, a little different, but they each have the same deal. They sent a little extra thing that looks like uh, little fabric crosses or something maybe. You have to unpack them to find out. Anyway, lots of Mylar balls. That's perfect for our crew that loves, oh, and more, wow. That's perfect for this crew. They love the Mylar balls. All to do the kittens do. You've seen them running around with them. The mom cats do. You've seen them running around with them. Everybody's into that. Here we have, oh, okay. So Flower has these Yow Catnip Lightning Bugs. So cool. Flower Lightning Bugs and Port. 
also has some Yao catnip lightning bugs. Those are perfect. They came just a little bit late for flour, so I can add those to the, uh, you know, in due time pile for flour, or uh, as you like, we can divert those from flour to our new mom cat loom. That'll be up to you. You just get in touch with me and let me know what you think. The ports can go right over there into the right spot immediately. And look at this. You sent tissue paper. Ooh, lots and lots of tissue paper for the tissue pit that I promised for today. Look at that. You sent some of the classic colors. Uh, you sent very sparkly red. Oh, it's very sparkly. Uh, here you sent some sparkly striped red. Here we have zebra print. Zebra print. Uh, some more sparkly red, some sparkly blue, and um, I don't know, festive, some sort of festive print there. These are perfect with just what we could use today when we deploy the tissue pit. All right, uh, but wait, there's more. This is this was from uh, Kathy, right? I said Kathy. That's right, isn't it? Yes, that's Kathy. Okay. Kathy, you just let me know. All right, uh, original, lightweight, shiny, 26 pieces. Well, they packed it in a way that we can't see what it is without opening it. So, we're gonna open it. The ant is just undisturbed. Oh, oh, look at that. It is packed full of the opalescent Mylar balls. Those are super fancy. I'm gonna shoot one right over there. The rest of these should probably go for endowments and be deployed. You sent two packs of those. Look at that. Mylar balls just for ages. Also, oh man, use at your discretion. I got to pocket one of these right now. These are fun tubes. And I think we've got a stash of fun tubes downstairs. But not only are the fun tubes always popular, uh, they're presently one of Millet's favorite things. And Millet has torn up the fun tubes that he's got already. So it'll be nice to get him a fresh one. Uh, some of these are different lengths. I've never seen that before. Or maybe one's just pulled it in more than the other. Anyway, I'm gonna pocket one for Millet right now. And the rest of them uh, will be our discretion. Look at that. This is really stocking up our coffers when it comes to the classic toys. Uh, there's more in here. They're just real fur mice. Oh man, those are always a hit. Real fur mice are great. These kids go crazy for them. What are they in the back there? Oh, it's the cardboard paper. They're, yeah, okay. These, what are these? Oh, these are the good wands, the really fancy kinds of wands with a raccoon. Oh, real fur toy on the wand. Wow, that is not something that we have ever tried before. That could be a giant hit. I, I am excited to try it. You sent two of those, and I don't even know. Uh, wow, that's going to be so fun. I can't wait. And what is this? Uh, ooh, uh, it doesn't say, but it appears to be some sort of real fur. Oh, I see. It is, uh, it's a, like a real fur uh, tails to put on the wands. It's got a little attachment to put on the wands, and they're just short little ribbons uh, that would be really fun for them, too. Oh, man, these, those are going to be such a hit. Here we have two uh, mats, the uh, memory foam mats. This one appears to be some flowers for the cat or something. Oh, man, I want to open this and look at it, but I also want to save it to open later. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do anyway. I think at least open it a little bit. Oh, it's pineapples! <laughs> it's a pineapple mat. Look at that. And then, oh my gosh, it's a pineapple wearing headphones with a girl pineapple. Where did you find this? That's a little too on the nose, isn't it? I love it. Oh man, that, that is so perfect. I can't wait. That will definitely get used. Uh, we've been using these kinds of mats for all kinds of things, for food mats. Uh, we also keep one up on the kitchen counter all the time for it's like a drying mat uh, and also a place for Maggie to sit. So that's perfect. And the other one appears to be sunflowers. Uh, we have a couple that are sunflowers that I really like. This is a slightly different sunflower print though. So it's nice to switch things up once in a while. These are perfect. They're so perfect, in fact. I'm going to put them over here with our stuff to deploy. 
so cool. Wow, that pineapple thing is really, I don't know how you find stuff like that that is too perfect. All right. Uh, there's still a little more in here, believe it or not. There is a cardboard house. Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like. It's like it's got a Maggie cat coming out of it. Oh, not quite a floofy enough to be a Maggie. Anyway, it's a big cardboard house for the cats to play in and scratch on. And one more thing. Uh, it appears to be a big-sized mat. It is a big-sized mat. It has a, oh, it's got the, uh, the pebble mobile on it. Look at that. And it says something. It says... Oh, it says adventure awaits. Wow, all right, in the pedal mobile. That's also pretty perfect. Well, uh, thank you for all that stuff. And uh, let me know if you'd like me to redirect flowers things to uh, Loom or put them in the ever-growing pile of things that I have to mail out someday. Look at that, sitting right in that chair. How do you like it? Does it make you ant? It would be better than my lap because I keep moving around. Huh? Very disturbing. All right, well, you have a seat right there. Uh, what do I do with all this stuff now? Uh, I think I'm going to make a box here of sort of like generic endow or use things. And, oh, man, I want to see these get used, though. I, oh, man. Oh, man. All right. That's some really fun stuff. What a great box. Thank you. Those real fur things are always such a big hit, too. Okay, uh, where are we going with all this? Let's see. This is for flower. I'm going to put it over here. It clearly says flower. I'm going to put it over here for now, and that way uh, we, we figure it out in the correct time. And this, I'm almost, I almost shouldn't put it away, so we're going to do the picture here, but uh, we'll see. All right. We'll figure it out after. After, after. Bombay has just gotten cuter up there. He just gets cuter every time he turns over. Let me take another picture and put those up on Discord. We've only got three more boxes. Mention, uh, I just realized as I spoke on the Discord that uh, we got a message from Flower and Corn's adopters last night with a picture of Flower and Corn hanging out together. And the adopter says that uh, Flower is still grooming Corn every day. Corn likes to climb strings and has to spend time out to think about his behavior. They are good eaters and not fussy yet. Flower loves playing with the springs and talks to them and chatters at them. They often sleep curled up. Someday they will meet a dog. Oh, very exciting times for flower and corn. Okay, let me post a couple of these pictures real quick, if I can. There we go. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Rio, you're going to wear yourself out before you even know what tissue really is, buddy. Mystery boxes in boxes, but there's a note at the bottom, so let's start right there. It says, one box is for Ports Endowment and the others to be deployed as you see fit from Mooch and Mattingly Rose. Mooch and Mattingly Rose. All right, one box is for Port, the other to be deployed as you see fit. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, let's start. Are they the same thing? Let's start there so we know. I think they are. Okay, good. So I'm just going to write port on one and put it right over there to port it down. Down it without even looking at it. 
and you will turn it the other way. Perfect, right there. And let's see what we got here. The old mystery box. Cat toys. Oh, Mylar balls. Look at that. A whole box of Mylar balls. Ford is going to have, you know, the irony, the funny thing is, Ford is going to go home with a record number of uh, Mylar balls and yet um, probably also go through them in record time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it turns out to be a lifetime supply. But, uh, you know, it's nothing certain when, uh, when Ford loves the Mylar balls as much as she does. Oh, uh, thank you. Maya just reminded me that, that there's also a box here from Maya that I have to open that is, uh, I did not bring in. It's, uh, it's over there, so let's try not to forget that. We'll do it last. Uh, but we got two more boxes here. If I can get them over here. Oh, almost. Almost. Okay, here we go. I think we know what this one is. Let's open this first. Because this looks like another one that went to the wrong address and then got returned and uh, sent over to us from uh, uh, from Emily S. In fact, it is. Here we go. Some more for the Port Oranges Endowments. So that's exactly what we would have suspected was in there. Here we go. These are those uh, cat uh, wands that came in last week's mailbag that they loved so much. And now I think we've got the right number of them. And they are going to love taking these home with them. Whoa. Man, that was real. Man, these kids, they're just uh, causing a whole bunch of noise back here. I just put these right in here for the endowments. Now, 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 don't go stealing those. Why don't I try to flip on the camera that does uh, the room view? Wouldn't that be better to look at? Let me take a look and see. I mean, you got kind of a view, but that's not like, oh, yeah, but this thing is messing up. Uh, all right, let me see what I can do. Hang on. So I can see our mom cat upstairs is absent again. As predicted. So as long as I got this out, let's take just one second. Oh, she's eating. There we go. All right. Then. Okay. Uh, so we've got this, and then we can't forget Maya's box right afterwards that's uh, over there. How cute these are. Wow. Uh, it says, I thought this blanket might be cute on the beanbag chair from Frozen Tundra Crew. Awesome. Is there another note? Because there's two things in here. No, just the one. All right, I just see the one note, but we'll see. Oh, wait, there's another. Here it is. The other one says, I knew these blankets belonged to KA from Frozen Tundra Crew. Okay. So here, presumably, this one is the one that would look good on the beanbag chair, and I think you're right about that. And look how cute these little unicorns are with their rainbows and stars. There's a blue one and a red one. Oh, that's awesome. This is this is going to look great on the beanbag chair. Plus, we sent some flannel blankets for our mom cat boxes and our mom cats that also have unicorns and rainbows and stars on them. I love it. I love this theme. That is awesome. Well, those are just going to go right over here with the pile of stuff. And then we've got one more box from Maya. I've got to go get it. It's just right around the corner. Give me one second. Okay. 
This is from Maya Bastet, and it says mailbag right on it. So it's not like I had to wonder what to do with it. But then I forgot to bring it in because that's the way I am. So thank you for the reminder. Oh, this is interesting already. What is going on here? We've got some sort of... Uh, oddly wrapped things, and a note that says, note, this note is now a few weeks out of date. Fair enough. That's fine. You wouldn't believe how far out of date I am. Uh, let's see. So the note has, uh, looks like rose uh, blossoms on it. A rose? No, I said rose, but I meant cherry. I knew what I meant. It says, Dear Mr. A, since I now realize you prefer your Shakespeare in cookie form, last week's stunning revelation notwithstanding, here's a tasty treat for you. As always, thanks to you and DJ for all you do for the kittens and mom cats, a big donkey Shane and love and lobsters, Maya Bastet. Well, Maya, thank you in advance uh, for ruining my diet, I assume. So first off, I don't, is this just packing material? This is so weirdly packed the way this is done. It does appear to be just packing material, but it was rolled into coils and made into like little mushroom caps. Very creative way to pack things. Uh, all right, let's go deeper. We got to go deeper. Oh no, you really did find something to ruin my diet though. What is this? It appears to be chocolate covered Oreos. Uh, and it's got a weird Oreo like logo on it. So this must be something Oreo lets you do that they're printed though. So they're chocolate covered Oreos. They've been covered in chocolate and then they've got sprinkles on top of the chocolate. And uh, then on top of the chocolate and sprinkles, they are, uh, they're, they're printed. They have a printed word on them. And that word is Rome Oreos, Romeo, Romeo, I see you can't even say this. Rome Oreos, Romeo Oreos, Romeo Oreos. I like it that way. I don't think it's got that many letters in it, but I'm going to go with Romeo Oreos. Anyway, they're all printed and covered in chocolate and covered in sprinkles. And they've been through an awful lot to get here, but they've got one more step in their journey to their final destination. Oh my God. Those are so good. I love chocolate covered Oreos. I love them too much. Mm. There's those ones. Mm. There's ones we've been sent a few times that I was getting from the candy shop in Buffalo called Buffalo Oreos. I eat them all in one day. I can't even not do it. They're too good. These are too good. Mm. Hmm. Romeo Oreos. Wow. That is some next level Oreo stuff. So I don't know, does, does Oreo just let you get anything you want printed on these now? Did you have these made especially for us by Oreo? Uh, if so, that's pretty cool. And uh, I don't even, I don't know which way it's cooler. I don't know if it's cooler if you did it or if the Oreo company is just making things called Romy Oreos now. Either one's pretty cool. Uh, either one uh, is completely wrecking my diet. So thank you, I guess. Um, no, honestly, thank you. That's too yummy. Oh man. I just, I really, I honestly want to just eat this entire box right now. Uh, probably because I haven't had breakfast yet. So I should probably have breakfast and try to sort of stem the tide here. But if there's any of these left by Monday, I'll be as surprised as anybody. Um, anyway, thank you so much to everybody, even Maya. Thank you. Um, and uh, I guess now is the time when I've got to put all this stuff away. And if these kittens aren't just immediately in sleep mode, we will deploy a tissue pit. Some of them have been napping up for it. Um, 
So maybe they will just switch shifts. We'll see. Anyhow, the way we normally do this is now I get up, I put all this stuff away, I come back, I say thank you, and then we end the archive. So that's going to be the immediate plan. And then at that point, I will evaluate how sleepy, how many of the kids seem sleepy. If, if we need to, we'll let them sleep for an hour or two and then do the tissue fit. But one way or another, they're getting a tissue fit and they're getting it today. So uh, my advice is uh, watch the regular Kitten Academy live stream so you don't miss it whenever it happens. That's my advice. Also, you can tune in any time and rewind it. It rewinds up to 12 hours. So as long as you check in later, you won't miss it. I think these kids are going to probably be epic as long as they're not all sleeping. It's going to be awesome. We'll see. Anyway, Maya, thank you. Uh, Maya, by the way, does say, yes, you can make custom Oreos now. Oof, that's dangerous. It's very dangerous. All right. me i put those in my cabinet uh with all the other sweets that people have sent me that i haven't eaten yet and uh eaten all of them yet i should say uh there's those stroop waffles someone sent us a lifetime supply of stroop waffles and they included in the note the fact that they were really good frozen uh which has ruined me it's really ruined me because they are really good frozen they crumble up um and uh they, 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 they're all crunchy at first, and then as you chew on them, they get all chewy, and the texture is just, oh, it's so cool. Frozen stroop waffles, awesome texture. And then, uh, as they say, you can crumble them up and put them on ice cream, or you can make an ice cream sandwich out of them. It's too much. It's just too much. Uh, ooh. Anytime Millie hears me talking or hears DJ talking, he yells at the door. I just heard him. He just heard me, and uh, I just heard him. Very sweet that way. All these kids are starting to lay down now, so I think we are going to have to wait a little while for that tissue fit. Just after a nap, you know, you take your little cat nap. For now, let me get all this stuff put up.
Yes, what do you do? And all right, let's see how much this we can get to where it's going or near to where it's going. We should have taken one of the bigger boxes for this stuff. We need a bigger boat.
about it uh, we got everything put away I am going to give these kids a lunch and they'll probably take a nap and then after that that's when they'll do tissue fit it's definitely gonna happen today like I said just whenever they're finally up for it they're all obviously starting to settle down right now so let's let them do that for a while and we'll have lots of energy So, if you're watching live, you don't have to go anywhere, you can watch me feed them lunch and uh, watch them probably take a nap. But if you're watching on the archives, this is it. Check out the regular Kids Academy live stream to see what comes next. <laughs>